Dominic and Sue said the Detroit Lions chose not to bring him back. The ball was in their court. Let's talk about it. Motor City Sports Talk, we in the building. It was an article that was in the free press. I'll link it to the description. Pretty much talk about kind of the quotes of what he said in his article. Said Sue uh, said Monday he loved every moment of his time with the Lions and said, I was very close to staying in Detroit when he left as a free agent. Um, it was in the team's hand to make that decision whether they wanted to do it as it is up to every single team and whether they want to keep a player or an asset in a particular in their particular eyes. And I think they didn't look at me as an asset they wanted to keep. Sue said they definitely had an opportunity to keep me. So let's make that very clear. OK, so, um, you know, and he goes on to say, oh, they say on to say ultimately Sue, uh, the Lions offered Sue about 70 million annually. With 58 million guaranteed numbers that just fell short of what uh, made what he made in Miami, about 60 million uh, guaranteed for three years. Uh, I don't know if it was over enough money that I chose uh, Miami. He said Monday because I was offered more money than what I got in Miami from other teams. So it was it wasn't about money, you know. So um do you believe him i'm probably you know maybe he was but guess what uh, miami got great uh, amazing amenities around there beaches beautiful women you know good weather um it's a vacation destination and you know what is it like to live in a de- vacation destination i believe he wanted more money to stay in detroit than it was to go over to miami because he didn't want to be in detroit his sister tweeted said we i can't wait till we get out of here it was said that he didn't like being here he never wanted to be drafted here he never wanted to come here. So I, I I think he wanted more money. He wanted top dollar to stay here. I don't think it was about the money like he said it was too necessarily about getting as much money as he could. I think he was getting overcompensated to stay in Detroit, seeing what Stafford got and seeing what Megatron got and seeing what Stafford was going to get in the future. He probably looking and saying, I'm more valuable than Matthew Stafford on this team, and um, I'm getting the hell up out of here. And I knew when he was crying after the Dallas Cowboy playoff game, that he wasn't coming back. But that's the Detroit Lions. The Lions truly never, or well, the Fords slash the Lions organization tr- truly never wanted to win. They never said or did like the Los Angeles Rams did this year, you know, bring in uh, Cook, you know, re-up with Aaron Donald, you know, trade for Fowler, bring in Sue, bring in Tlaib, bring in Marcus Peters. They never went all out or, or, or financially went all out and try to put a winner on the field. And that's because the fans are going to come down to Ford Field regardless. If they got the, re- the support that the Detroit Pistons got, either the Fords will actually put the money into the team or they will sell the team. Okay, the NFL makes 70%, I think makes 70% more than NBA. You know what I'm saying? So that means their TV deals are greater. They got a quarter billion dollars before a, a football was snapped this season for TV money. So the, the, the owners don't really care about asses in the seats that much. But, you know, but you still want to get that revenue. So if people neglected and didn't watch the Lions game like the Pistons games, you know, or, or neglected to come through like the Tigers game at this point in their in in franchise, you know, I think the Fords would sell or they would put a winner on the seat. But therefore, fans are always going to come down on Sundays. And it's probably a Detroit great pastime to come down on Sundays and watch the Lions no matter how good or bad they are, let's say like 0-16 bad, people are going to continue to go down there and spend their money at that 65,000-seat arena known as Ford Field. And once you kind of look at the particulars about how they operate, no no fan should go down there and get season tickets. No fan should go down there and watch them every Sunday if they're going to continue to make dumb boneheaded moves like this. They should have overcompensated Sue to stay in Detroit. And for Sue, it was better for his career other than going to the Super Bowl because he ain't really produced like he produced in Detroit. This team was built around uh, Indominus Sue. This defense was built around him. And, you know, and that didn't happen in Miami. That haven't happened in L.A. He got four and a half sacks next to Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald gets double teamed 60% of the time and produced 20 and a half sacks this season from the defensive tackle position. Indominus Sue only gave four and a half sacks with 59 tackles. So is Indominus Sue on the downside of his career? Absolutely. He ain't producing like he should. He playing next to another all-pro. He should have at least 12, 13, or 15 sacks next to Aaron Donald, who's been double teamed 60% of the time. They're not just double, they're not double teaming Dominic Sue, too. You know, and Dominic Sue, in my opinion, ain't a Hall of Famer. He had an opportunity to be a Hall of Famer in Detroit because everything was predicated around him in the middle of that defense, getting up the field. He gave the team an attitude that, and a nastiness about the team, an identity about the team that the team never got back. 
the team has never got an identity back since Ndamukong Sue left. So pretty much other than him going to the Super Bowl, in my opinion, um, Ndamukong Sue, you know, Ndamukong Sue has been hurt by leaving the Lions just as much as the Lions been hurt without him. But once again, showing again how cheap the Lions was. That's just what it is. They cheap. They don't. They don't want to spend money on 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 the, on a team to make a team great. They don't want to do that. They want to spend money to, to just keep bringing people to the television sets and just keep enough people coming down to the arena. They sell hope from January all the way to September, and then when the boss gets snatched for the real thing, we see how pathetic the Lions actually is on the field. We complain. We still watch, but it's the same thing time and time again. It's the same thing. You know, it's the same thing. And now you're seeing they don't truly want to spend the money. They only want to spend money on their attractions. They want to spend money truly on their attractions. And, it, and it's sad, though. It's really, really sad that that, that 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 is the case. You know, but, you know, maybe, in, and like I said before, maybe in Dominic Sue was, was, was asking for astro- astronomical numbers. You know, and he settled for less because it's Miami. Pretty women, beaches, you know, the lifestyle, the clubs, you know, he loved living there. He went to Miami to LA. He didn't go from Miami to 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 uh to Houston or Miami to 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 Philadelphia or or to Pittsburgh. He didn't go to to those teams. He went to two banging cities in, in Miami and LA. You know? And if Adam gets sued as a free agent this offseason, do we need want him back? Hell no. Nah. I stand by that. No and Dominic can sue back, man. He's on the downslope of his career. We can do bad all by ourselves, man. There's no point in overcompensating that Dominic Sue to come here. Four and a half sacks next to Aaron Donald. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. We good with hand. We good with snacks. We don't need a Dominic Sue back this offseason. But that would be the lion thing to do is to get an Asian superstar that's on the downslope of his career and bring him back to Detroit and celebrate him. He don't produce. Because at this point, after if he won the Super Bowl or lose the Super Bowl this year, I believe he's going to be on the paper chase, especially if they win. He's going to be looking to go to the highest bidder. And I don't think a lot of teams are going to be willing to spend $15, $17, 20000000 million in Dominic Sue. I think Dominic Sue is a $10 to $8, 8 to $10 million player at this point. And he's going to go to a team that's going to overcompensate him for the last price contract of his career or a lengthy contract. So if the Chicago Bears pay him, he go there. Minnesota Vikings pay him, he go there. Indianapolis Colts pay him, he go there. You know what I'm saying? Whoever got the biggest bag, that's when Dominic and Sue gonna go. So the Lions got a good opportunity to land him back again. They got the cap space. You know, if they wanted to, but at this point, like I said, he's an Asian star. He's an Asian star. Asian veteran guy. You know, but ultimately it was over the money. It was over overcharging, basically upcharging Detroit Lions organization to stay here. And he knew that this cheap organization wasn't going to pay it. Either he thought they was going to pay it, or he knew they wasn't going to pay it. They had been negotiating for a whole year, I believe. Been negotiating for a whole year. So he already knew what it was. And he already knew. And it ain't Martin Mayhew and Tom Lawan. It was up to them. They would have gave Indomitian and Sue the money he wanted 10 times over. But it was the Fords. It was them upstairs. They didn't want to pay Indomitian and Sue. They very, very cheap. Can't nobody ever tell me that the Fords was trying to put a winner on the team where they tried to really go all in for a Super Bowl. Never. They make too much money off the idiots that go down there every Sunday and buy the and buy the Lion jerseys and buy the tickets and buy the overpriced beer and buy the overpriced food. You know what I'm saying? On with the shitty Wi-Fi they got there. And everybody gonna come down time and time again. But no matter no no matter how many examples they show how cheap, how frugal, how not invested they are. To win a championship, you know, people still gonna go down there and check it out. And the Dominic Sue is telling you again, I pretty much overcharged them to stay in Detroit. They didn't get my number. I happily left and took less money to go to Miami. You know what I'm saying? And I when I say less money, less money than he 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 wanted from Detroit. That's what it was. He wanted probably 20 million annually to stay in Detroit. He said, okay, I'll take, you know, I'll take the 60, 17 million, 18 million annually to go to Miami. You know what I'm saying? No state taxes in Florida, too. I keep more money, too. That's what you got to think about, too. But it's good for a Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody checking in. We're on Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, you can reach out to the email. You can check my other page out, Goodfellas Sports TV, if you're into other sports, NBA, NFL, boxing, MMA, and much, much more. Y'all know.